Capricorn, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7 deep tarot and be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels let's dive right in because the thing is cap right now more importantly or more so than ever your intuition has been on full alert and your senses are very much keen right now so it means that whatever you're being feeling called or pulled to do that is the truth and we can validate that by owl spirit right that's the message you see clearly now you see clearly your intuition is full steam ahead now you may be doubting this uh, knowledge or this this energy this this guidance um based off of uh operating more so from uh limited mindset uh, what that really means is connecting to the thinking mind um and not so much with the coherence of the heart. So see, when the thinking mind and the heart have come together as a team, right, you are receiving guidance from your heart and then activating the mind to apply what is necessary and the most accurate choice for you. But when the thinking mind is not connected to the heart with the intention, it's more so connected to the ego, okay? And when it's connected to the ego or the smaller self, that kind of, that, that duo kind of creates a smaller self perspective, it's very limited because you're then making choices off of a fear-based, here's what I know so far kind of a choice when you have access to infinite amounts of wisdom from universe, from your own incarnations, right? So there's, it's very limited and that's why we call it the limited mind. And when we are limited, uh, what happens is we end up feeling like we need to force things, make things happen, try to make something happen, try to get something, right? We need to try to find a career that makes us a lot of money. We need to we need to make our relationships love us. We need to, you know, just effort our way through life, right? And it's taxing, it's exhausting, and it's not even necessary, okay? And so what we want to remind you is this. When you have a connection to your higher self, okay, your intuition, which is the language of your higher self and spirit guides, right? This is what we want you to connect to because your intuition is guiding you to all sorts of abundance, to all sorts of career moves that are going to leave you abundant, uh, communication, connection, uh, happiness with your family, right? It's just, it's just, it's in the cards for you, right? Time of stability, uh, financial success, uh, financial gain. Um, this is where you're headed. Uh, so you could you could head there uh, with pain and suffering, or you could head there um, with abundance and ease. Right. So at the end of the day, what we want to give you is this, right? We want to offer you um, a solution. Um, and this is something that has been in the works for quite some time. So a lot of trial and error um, uh, from, from Spirit and myself. But we have kind of concocted the no fluff higher self morning routine. Okay. Connect with your higher self morning routine. Now it may trigger some of your egos a little bit, but good. We're not talking to you anyway, ego or soul to soul here, souls only. All right. And so what we want to do is just invite you to opening up to this because this is something that will change your life. Now, you can connect your higher self in many ways. Ultimately, it is letting go and connection. But what we have gathered is that there are some other um, uh, little techniques here that will get you there so much faster. Now, the first step is when you wake up in the morning, because we just want to we want to have a good day, right? So we're going to do this in the morning. So you wake up in the morning and you immediately go outside in nature. And you don't need to go to a park. You can literally just walk out your front door. If you have a park around you, that would be obviously very lovely. But even if you just get outside, it's the, this, the point is to get out of the walls, right? The walls make our energy feel like a caged tiger. You ever notice like on a weekend when all the kids are up, the family's home, it's a lot of energy, right? And you may feel that energy and react to it. Exactly. It's the same anyway. Even when people are sleeping, there's still walls. You've still been in walls. So when you get out, leave the walls for 20 minutes. That's all you need. Nature, 20 minutes or outside of walls for 20 minutes, we'll say. All right. That's step number one. Step number two is very important. Now, step number two, you can either 
go back home, or again, you could walk to a park, right? And be at a park. But you, what you want to do is set your timer for 15 minutes. That's it, 15 minutes. And what we want you to do is we want you to move your body vigorously. This means that we want you to move your body so that you break a little sweat, you elevate your heart rate, and you clear your energy. And that's the, that is the purpose of this. It's not to, you know, you know, win an Olympic medal over here or to, you know, um, lose weight. That's not what we're doing. What we're doing is we are clearing our energy. So vigorous movements. So you could dance, you could do skipping, jumping jacks, jump squats, wherever you are in your fitness journey is going to depend. That's what's that's what matters. Okay. So we don't want you to try to be somebody you're not at all. We're not asking you to again, break records here. We're just looking for you to at your fitness level today, get your body moving vigorously. You could put on a, uh, if you're not sure like what, what we're even talking about, you can put on a 15 minute follow along, um, high intensity workout and just do your best, right? Just do it so that again, you break a little sweat, your heart rate goes up, And what we're doing is we're clearing our energy and we're getting oxygen into the body. So now we've grounded it from being outside. We've cleared it from the vigorous 15 minutes. And now what we want you to do, go have a nice shower, feel comfortable, right? Grab a little caffeine if you want and sit down with yourself. And that's where you meditate. That's where you let go. And that's where you will receive the guidance from your higher self to give you direction for where the trajectory of your life is going to go. All the puzzle pieces will fit together. You will have a clear sense of knowing, right? And don't expect anything in this meditation. Some of us will hear things. Some of us will see things. Some of us will feel things. And some of us will have all of the above, but it really matters. It really, it just depends on where you are in your journey and how you can, how much is is being let go of. Right. And so don't judge it. Don't blame yourself. Don't, don't know nothing. Just, just observe and listen, right? Just observe and listen. Almost like you're in class listening to a teacher. Just observe and listen. Whatever your energy tells you, whatever thoughts come up, right? And then you just write it down. Don't think about it. Just write it down. When the energy's cleared, you're going to know because your thinking mind will become more active. Oh, my session of meditation with the guides is over because my mind is thinking about what I should eat or when I got to go to work. You know what I mean? That's how you're going to know. And this is the morning routine. That will always connect you to that part of you that is your truth every single time. Your thinking mind and your experiences you've gone through is not who you are. And when we spend more time in that energy of trying to figure things out, we're in the thinking mind, right? We're logically trying to process why something feels good for us. (laughs) We're logically trying to process why ideas and why certain paths feel good for us. That is too much um, connected to the logical state of mind, logical mind, and it it will it will disrupt the flow of the universe because what we'll end up doing is we'll end up taking on more responsibilities than is necessary because we're going to be overthinking the process, and that's why we invite you, even if your um, physical ability is more than twenty minutes of nature and fifteen minutes of vigorous movement, we invite you not to to surpass that merely just because we're not looking to deplete our energy, we're not looking to lose weight, we're not looking for this to be our main workout. We're literally just looking for this to uh, clear energy, uh, feel grounded and connect uh, to our higher self much faster. Okay. That's it. And you can get a second workout in later in the day. That's usually what I do is later in the afternoon. It's always better to move the body anyway throughout the day. So at the end of the day, try to keep that in mind, even if you can do longer, keep it to that time frame and then play with it. And we encourage you, all of you to play with that morning routine. All right. And make it your own, but know that the blueprint is 20 minutes, nature, 15 minutes, vigorous movement. Again, you could dance, you can, you can do cardio kickboxing. You could do anything you want. You could do burpees. You could do whatever you want, whatever you are physically capable of 15 minutes. That is it. You can choose three exercises that you like and just do that on repeat for 15 minutes, right? Just, just make it your own. It doesn't have to be a big event. Again, we're not trying to win any medals here. We're literally just trying to clear our energy and increase our, uh, vibration. And, um, essentially this is going to allow you to feel grounded and more open Okay. And that way your thoughts will focus into a more of a priorities for you. Okay. Because we feel like right now there's maybe a lot of attention and energy being placed into too many different things, right? Again, taking on too many responsibilities, maybe taking on the responsibilities of others. And right now we want you to get in the flow of what your inner knowing is giving you, your guidance is giving you, um, because it is going to, the reason why we do this is because when we are living our lives for us, uh, we start to uh, make choices, set boundaries for ourselves, um, be have more of an awareness of who we are. And the name of the game is to remember who we are. That's why we're here on planet Earth. That's why we incarnate with spiritual amnesia, because the whole game is to or 
you know, journey is to remember who we actually are from the things that we love. However, we don't know what we love unless we are actually connected to our energy bodies that let us know, hey, I love this, right? If we're always fearful and frantic and overthinking things, then again, we're in the thinking mind, which again is very limiting and we're not paying attention to what we love, right? Until we go through so much pain and adversity and suffering that we're, we realize, okay, I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do this, right? And we kind of just settle in a sense. And we want you to understand that the choice is always yours to know what works for you, but you got to be connected to that part of you that understands that. And actually what's beautiful is your guides and angels are coming forward with the message of the ocean, which is very helpful for us because it also cleanses our energy. So if you can get near the ocean for your nature um, adventures, even better. So they are saying the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns, right? So even if you sat near ocean or walk near the water, right? If, anything, anything, right? But, but ultimately it's that nature time, right? And, and it's that little bit of vigorous movement to cleanse our energy, right? And just make it as fun as possible. This is your life, make it fun. But ultimately this is a, a beautiful little blueprint there for yourself to just connect to its fullest degree because you're being guided towards all of your abundance, the right career moves, right? The right choices for you. You're always being guided, but just so you're more aligned with that sense of knowing and trusting, it's always gonna be that connection. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.